I'm Steve for This Week With Cars, and this is my 1981 Lectra Motors, Lectra 2 Plus 2. As far as I know, this is the only Lectra still in operating condition in its original configuration. And today, I'd like to delve into the history of the Lectra Motors Company. Al Sawyer, seen here, started Lectra Motors in 1979. Sawyer was a professional mechanical engineer who had worked at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratories and then at the Nevada test site. While working at the Nevada test site, he developed telerobotic systems for handling nuclear waste similar to this one pictured here. It was working on these electric robots that gave him the idea to build an electric car. After finding an old Corvair, he set off to convert it to electric. This is something that GM themselves had done years before with the Electro Ver project. Al's electric Corvair called the X1 was tested for two years to prove the feasibility of a modern electric passenger car. In 1977, he formed Western Research Industries and started testing advanced electric drive systems and batteries on converted Subaru 360s. In 1979, Western Research Industries started producing electric vehicles that were based on the Datsun B310. These new cars were marketed under the name Lectricar. At the same time, the Department of Energy was looking for a company to invest in to show that electric vehicles were viable. The new electric cars met these specifications. Zero to 30 and was supposed to be in 15 seconds according to the Department of Energy. That's what they required, but we did it in seven seconds. Top speed is about 80 miles an hour. We tested them at 80. If they wouldn't do that, we'd take them back to the factory. It was uh, approximately 50 miles for uh, the pickup truck and uh, around 60 to 70 in the sedans. Depends on how many miles you had driven uh, before you plugged them in to charge them, but uh, if the car was already, if the battery was all the way run down, to the point where it was uh, starting to slow down, uh, it took about eight hours. In 1980, Sawyer opened the Electra Motors factory at 5380 South Valley View Boulevard in Las Vegas. Initially, Electra just had three models, the Electra 2 Plus 2, the Electra 400, and the Electra D100 pickup truck. For 1981, Electra Motors looked to increase its model range to six models. This included a hatchback and hardtop version of the Lectra Centauri, as well as the Lectra Wagon. Uh, most, most of the cars had uh, 18 batteries in it, uh, 10 in the rear back and uh, another 8 in the front, <coughs> usually, except uh, some, some of the models, uh, the way the uh, underhood configuration was, we couldn't put quite that many in front, so we had to juggle the uh, c configuration in the rear to accommodate that. Most of these uh, cars that we sold were uh, muni to municipalities or companies uh, like, uh, well, uh, the uh, telephone company here and the uh, uh, power company and uh, uh, the counties and yep. stuff like that. People, places that were uh, sort of subsidized by the Department of Energy to buy them, uh, to evaluate them and determine whether or not the electric car was a viable means of transportation. We, we even sold uh, one car to Toyota and shipped it to Japan. One of the things that made electric cars different from the other electric cars that were available at the time is that these were real cars with virtually no compromises except for range. They even went as far as to test crashing these cars and seeing how they performed with all those batteries and the electric motor in them. Even a rental car company in Las Vegas bought a fleet of these vehicles to rent to visitors. For the first time in the automobile rental industry, models of electric vehicles manufactured by Lectra Motors Incorporated of Las Vegas will be available through a thrifty rent-a-car franchise in the Los Angeles area. The cars, which come with a plug-in recharger, have a cruise range of about 70 miles. The type of person that buys this particular car is someone that's interested in ecology, savings, 
and also a car of the future that's here now. Now this car is not initially cheap. These batteries presently today are good for 25 to 30,000 miles before you have to change them. But overall, when you equate to this automobile, this car costs you a penny a mile to operate. That's 140 miles per gallon. That's a great big savings. You're not going to see the savings today, but you will over a period of time or a period of years. It's a car today, not tomorrow. It is said that Electra Motors produced more than 1,000 electric vehicles, and Al Sawyer co-founded the Las Vegas Electric Vehicle Association in 1998 before his passing in 2012. Electra Motors closed on July 10, 1982. I can find evidence of Lectra cars running till at least the year 2000. However, I am not sure if any of them are running today. It is most likely that if there is one still working besides the one that I own, that it might be in the Las Vegas area. Well, there's one in, there's a pickup truck in uh, Pahrump Valley. Uh, there's a, uh, a Centauri in Boulder City. Uh, there's a uh, a pickup truck in uh, uh, Desert Palms? Palm Desert, Palm I think. Desert. Yeah. California. California. And uh, I don't know, they're scattered around uh, quite a quite there a bit around a the area. Called from Massachusetts that has one. That's right. That he's uh, putting it in a museum in Massachusetts. Yeah, that's right.